program. And with the creation of almost any government program comes a food chain of contractors, lobbyists, lawyers, and special interests, all feeding from a government trial that Congress seldom lets run dry. You have to balance the family budget. You have to make sure that the business is solvent. Government doesn't really look at it that way. So even grossly wasteful expenditures, which hit $85,000 for a Yale University study on the plasticity of duck penises during mating, or $60,000 for a Star Trek spoof for a 2010 IRS training session, often don't raise red flags until after the money is spent. They don't want to know where the waste is, because if they actually know where the waste is, they're going to have to do something about it. Over the next four days, they examine expensive programs that taxpayers are saddled with. Agriculture companies to one of these companies to the difficulty of firing unproductive workers. Each of them write for change, but each of them entrenched interest that lasts them. You can weigh in on whether you think that duck anatomy study is worth $385,000 of your money. Let's go to foxnews.com homepage and scroll down to you decide and tell us what you think. Jim? All right, Diane, I'm looking forward to the series all week long. Thank you very much. Secretary of State John Kerry visited the sites of America's two most recent wars as the bloody conflict in Syria continues to threaten the entire region. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen has the story. On his surprise trip to Afghanistan, Secretary of State John Kerry received assurances from Afghan President Hamid Karzai that he does not believe the U.S. to be colluding with the Taliban. The Secretary of Afghan that comments he reportedly made to that effect three weeks ago when Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel visited Kabul had been taken out of context. 